So I saw this video on YouTube which supposedly shows uh, a difference in temperature of some aluminum foil depending on whether it is in the shade or if it's in, uh, in the, the direct moonlight. Uh, you see there's a plastic table there covering one side and the other side is exposed to the moon and on the plastic table side it shows 40 degrees and on the other side it shows a much lower temperature. Uh, but what's actually going on here is that it's actually the reflection of the sky or the reflection of the table. Here's an experiment that I did to demonstrate what's actually going on here. And this one's in the sun. So here's a setup to show the problem with reflected readings. Uh, the aluminum foil on the ground here is uh, going to be reflecting the radiation from well, whatever is directly behind it. Now in this case we've got a cloudy sky with a bit of sun uh, and I put this this plastic cooler here to provide some shade on this side and I put this uh, dark line there roughly indicating where the, the shadow line is so this side is in the shade this side is in the sun now this side is probably going to warm up because uh, it's in the sun this side you can actually feel it it actually feels a little bit cooler but what's the infrared actually going to uh, show us. So let's, let's flip over to infrared. The foil actually appears to be warmer in front of the cooler. Now if I move this down and have a look, this is saying that it's uh, one degree right here, this foil, which it obviously isn't, it's actually a lot warmer. And over in the shade over here, 70 degrees. So what's actually going on here, it's actually measuring the, the reflection of the heat of the cooler here, 70 something degrees, we go down to here, 70 something degrees, go over here, 10 degrees. So what we're actually seeing here on this side is the temperature of the sky. And if I pan up and have a look, there's the trees and the sun, and there's some blue sky, and it's uh, negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If I move over to the clouds, they're at uh, 39 degrees, which is a more reasonable one. Let's see if I can get the sun. It's probably going to do something ridiculous. Yeah, it doesn't really, it's not really calibrated for measuring the sun, but it uh, gives us a uh, overloaded temperature of uh, above 200 and something degrees. So I could probably find some hot spots on this side. And another interesting thing you can do is if I move around, I'm still in the shade here, but if I get it so I'm reflecting the sky in the shade, I should be able to find a spot where it is about four degrees, and I can't actually because of my angle. Let me do it from this side. There we go, so measuring in the shade there, again it's uh, very low, zero degrees Fahrenheit, and that's actually in the sunshade. Never mind the moonshade. So you get the exact same uh, uh, results as you would in, in, well in the moon you wouldn't get any temperature difference. Now if I look at this bit of concrete right next to where this was, this has been shaded. So that's uh, 69 degrees. And where it was in the sun, 75 degrees. So the shading has a little effect from the sun on the concrete. but. On this aluminum foil, it's completely useless because you can't actually measure the temperature of the aluminum foil. You're just measuring whatever it's reflecting.